Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We are going to take a look at the power of picture styles on the Canon 6D Mark II and how it can make you avoid post-production altogether. All right, what are picture styles? If you're already familiar with Lightroom or Photoshop, you can look at picture styles as presets. In an editing software, you would adjust the sharpness, contrast, saturation, and the color tone of your image. However, with picture styles, you can set it up before you take the picture, removing most post-production work. Now, what does sharpness, contrast, saturation, and the color tone do in your image? The sharpness allows you to sharpen edges and different objects in your image. Contrast basically makes the difference between intensities of dark and lights in your image. So basically the more contrast, the more darks and lights will be defined and the less contrast makes the image more made. Saturation defines the vibrance of colors in your image. Finally, the color tone adjusts the hue. All right, now let's take a look at the different default picture styles that already exist in your camera. So starting off over here, we have to click here and go into the picture style settings, which are right over here. And as you can see, you have a bunch of different options here. So starting off with auto, auto is best for pictures, which you don't wanna really focus on this and let the camera do everything for you. So it's pretty much suitable for all kinds of scenarios and the camera takes care of everything. Next we have standard and standard mode is basically for general photos, which creates very vibrant colors and the saturation is very good as well. So this is pretty much the default mode if you want crisp and vivid pictures with high quality images. Then we have the portrait mode, which is basically great for portraits. And the goal here is to optimize the skin tones and saturation, which also reduces edge sharpness to keep the skin looking soft. So basically ideal for any portrait. Next, we have landscape, which is great for landscape pictures, especially nature photographers, because they're really good and it creates really nice greens and blues with sharper edges, which makes a great image of the landscape. Moving on, we have neutral. And neutral is best if you want to go then and edit the pictures after you've done taking the pictures, or if you want a washed out or vintage look, that can be the great mode for you. Next we have Faithful, and Faithful is very similar to Neutral, so it can be confused very quickly, but Faithful really shows you a picture that would be taken under average daylight. And then finally we have Monochrome, which is basically what you can expect, and it is basically a black and white picture. Well then, now we know all main picture styles and how they make the image look. Finally, take a look at all pictures and you can really see how each of them affects the way your picture will turn out. In an upcoming video, we will take a look at how to make your own picture style. With this, you will be able to customize all the parameters and make the picture exactly the way you want. If you learned something new, then please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay notified when I release my next video. Also, if you missed my previous video on how to make your own custom white balance, click the card shown up here. Okay, take care, and I'll see you in my next video.